Hi, this is Stephen Gregg, and I'm here to talk about my next section in my um, personal story, which is the mindset of a trailblazer. I'm here in Las Vegas. I'm at my friend's event, Matt Terrio. We are going to be doing a real estate investment uh, event this weekend, and I'm actually the co-host with him. I'm actually going to be the MC of the entire event, but I still wanted to get this video out to you because I love doing these videos. I really love telling my story so you can learn a lot more about Stephen Gregg and who I really am. And today, one of the things, if you wouldn't do me a favor, if you, you do me a favor, just go down and um, subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, and click the little bell button there so that every time I do a video, you'll get notified of it. And so today, what I'm going to be talking about is my first awakening. You know, you've heard me talk my stories about Joe Jackson and his son with the Lottery Tipster. You've heard me go over my story about all the different things I've gone through in, in life um, up to this point. But my first awakening happened was um, after I went through all that mayhem, I was really tired and really beat up from life. So I made a decision that I was going to go to church. And I went to a church down in Los Angeles. I went to what's called West Angeles Church. And they um, had a really big church down there in Los Angeles on Crenshaw Boulevard. And when I went there, I was kind of fired up because they had this new pastor that was actually preaching that day. And I remember the sermon so well. It was called Put Jesus on Your Boat how to put Jesus on your boat. And I remember I was so fired up from that message. I mean, man, that message hit me big time. I even bought the tape. I still have the cassette tape to this day of that um, sermon. And then I went out and bought a Bible and I was so fired up for my life. And I started, you know, really looking into the Bible and still, it, still trying to um, become different. Um, but I realized something about myself, you know, after going to church and started, you know, seeing that the way the people act at that church was different than the way I acted because, you know, I was a mess. You know, at the time I went out there and started going to that um, church, I realized how much of a mess I really was, you know. And I'm just going to be real with you today, tell you a little bit about who I was um, in my character. Because at that time, I was party, I was a party animal. You heard me in all these business ventures I did, right? Well, those business ventures were during the daytime because at night, I was out going dancing all the time. I was out drinking. I was out drinking literally three, four nights a week. Um, getting drunk and and I was a very big womanizer, you know, with different girls and all this crazy stuff. It was it was re re ridiculous, to tell you the truth. You know, I had no respect for myself. I had no respect for women. I had no respect for other people or their property or anything. I, I was just a mess. I used to go out clubbing every night and <clears throat> put on a suit during the day and try to look good during the daytime. So I was a really a big mess. And you know, my life had major challenges and major character cracks. That's the one thing that I noticed is that I just had a lot of character cracks inside. And if I didn't repair those character cracks, nothing was working. And that's why I was getting further and further in debt and jumping from company to company because I was the problem. You know, like I said, I used to get drunk all the time and no respect for anyone. I was a liar. I was a very, I'd say, deceitful man. I used to tell deceptive lies, not just lies, just being deceitful, just in from my gut. It was just... I don't know what was wrong with me. I think I was insane or demon possessed or something. I don't know what was going on. But, you know, I was a very insecure man, so that's probably what caused the lies. And then, in addition to that, I was an idolizer. I used to idolize women. I used to idolize money. I used to idolize other successful people and wanted to be like them. And I had selfish ambition. Everything that was all about Stephen, what I can do and what I'm going to do. And it was all about me. You know, I said it was for ICANN. I said it was for my ICANN centers. But really, I realized when I look back at hindsight 2020, I can see that a lot of it was really just about what I wanted, the desires that I wanted in my life and the cars that I wanted. I remember I used to go out to um, Laguna Beach and it was um, these big houses out there. And I used to want these houses and I used to take pictures of them and take pictures of the cars and put them on my wall in my refrigerator. It was all this stuff that I just wanted. You know, that was who I was. I just wanted stuff, you know, because I saw the Joneses had it and I wanted it. And, you know, it was a mess. And I realized that the reason why my business wasn't working, you know, I kept jumping from company to company trying to build this big dream that I said I had, which it still was there, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I had to go from company to company. I mean, I went to so many different businesses over that period of time. I went to the timeshare industry. I sold um, advertising door to door. I went and jumped from different types of network marketing companies to different types of network marketing company thinking it was the business or it was the industry. It was the, that was the problem. But really to tell you the truth, I was the problem. I was the problem. I had character cracks. My, I had no integrity. I wouldn't stick with anything. I was going from company to company or industry to industry. And I remember one time I had seven 1099s in one year. 
That's because I wouldn't stick to anything. And so none of my friends or family would follow me or listen to anything I said because I was a flake. You know, and I know I was a flake. Looking back at it, I was a flake. I wouldn't have done business with me knowing who I was at that time. So what I realized after all of that period of time is that it wasn't the business. It wasn't the outside world. It wasn't the, the, the different companies I was in like I tried to make it out to be. It wasn't the, um, the people that I was doing business with. Now, some of them did go out of business and all that. You know what it really was? It was Stephen Gregg. I was the problem. And until I recognized that, until I saw that, nothing changed. And that's one of the things I want to share right now is that, you know, I had to really take a deep look at my life and say, who am I? I learned a sentence year ago, years ago, and it stuck with me. It said, who you are when you're alone is who you really are. See, because when I was alone, I was a mess. I was a, all kinds of, you know, bad adjectives I could call myself back then. I was a very bad man. A very, I wasn't even considered a man in my opinion. I was a boy acting like a man. You know, I had to change because I wanted something different. And so because of that, I had to change my life and change directions in my life. And on my next video, I'm going to go through what those changes were and, and how they actually played out and how it led me to where I am today. But the single biggest thing I had to do is I had to take a good look in the mirror and say, Stephen, who are you? Who are you really? Because who you are when you're alone is who you really are. Not who you are in front of your friends, not who you are at the nightclubs, not who you are when you're dressed up and looking good in your suit during the day. It's who you are when you're alone. My character was a mess. So I just wanted to share that with you so that, you know, if, if you know, you're going through some challenges and you don't, can't figure out why, maybe you need to look inward and see who you are to see if that's the real issue. Because if that is, then there's something you can do about it. You can change that. I can't change my outside environment until I change my inside environment. So I just wanted to share that with you again. Please, if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and um, subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, and click the bell button. So every time I, s I shoot a video and I upload it, you'll get notified of that video. I really would love for you to be able to hear my entire story from beginning to end. I appreciate you guys. I'll be back shortly with another video. Have a good day.